Forest Green, the new stand, is it is it exciting? Oh, I think the lads have been waiting for it for a while now. It's um it's been great to see it opposite the uh, dugouts. It's it looks fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, it's just going to add to the experience of playing at the park again. We've had some good nights there on a Tuesday night, I can remember, and 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 games that games that played with the old grandstand, which which made the atmosphere feel a bit bigger. So it, it it'll only enhance the team. You mentioned the old grandstand. You're probably one of only a real few players yeah. to have played with that for a long period of time. Can you describe what it was like in terms of the facilities yeah. and the changing room there? Do you know what? I really liked it. I really liked the old grandstand. It was um, it was a different experience. Like the new change rooms we've got now, are so much better. They are. They are incredible, incredible, really, and but it had a good feel to it. We had some good times there, and and it was the right time to probably move from that stand. And the, what they've got there now is is just pushing the club further. But you're right; it was um, it was a little bit the way change room especially weren't great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How important do you think it is having a, a new stand like this uh, in terms of the long term development of the club? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's only going to push, push the club further. I mean, you only got to look around the training grounds and see how much that's come on the, uh, the 3G and even the netting behind the goal. From where I started at the club, the club's pushed on a lot. And I think it, the facilities are starting to, to attract players to come down from well, Nicky Law and your Jonathan Forte. So it's, it's only going to help the club. And looking at matters on the field, how pleased are you with how things have gone so far this season? Yeah, we're, we're doing well. We've just got to keep going. I mean, it's you can't get carried away. It's only early doors of the season still, and there's a lot of games to play. And it's a tight league. It, it's proven that year after year so far. But if we can keep keep plodding along as we have, I think we'll be fine. Yeah. It's a bit of a cliche to take one game as it comes. Mm. Obviously, it is the case very much so. Mm. Is it easy to do that? I mean... Yeah, there are thoughts that you are looking at the league table and, and that has to come into play because you don't want to let things drift or you don't want to become complacent. But it is, at the moment, like you say, it is one game at a time and that's Saturday and, oh, sorry, Tuesday night and then Saturday. But, I mean, until you get after Christmas, March time, then you can sort of look at things differently. But between now and then, it's one game at a time. If you were to look at the last couple of years where City have got close to going up, can you spot any added qualities amongst this squad that may prove a difference? Um, yeah, I think we got so close, haven't we, the last couple of times. I mean, if we can keep everyone fit, that helps. I mean, I know we lost Troy and we lost Woody at Spells, and, but we've got a good core team here and, and it's probably one of the strongest I've been a part of. And if we can keep everyone fit, we've got a really good chance of doing something. So that's, I think that's the key part of it. Has it been easy having that transition to the new staff? Because obviously you, mm. more so with you, you're so used to the previous staff, the yeah. previous regime. Has it been easy to try I mean, it's been easy as in the terms of we've known Matty, we've known Greener, uh, Chris Wills, uh, some of us have known him through playing against Yeovil and other teams that he's been involved. But um, Eric's come down, he's been brilliant. Um, I mean, they've all settled in. Greener's done a really good job and, um, and Matty seems to be uh, doing well. So it's... It, it, they've settled in well, which made it easy. So yeah, definitely. It's quite nice to have a different insight from the likes of Eric. Not yeah, it's before. it's you can only learn more from um, people you meet who are new, and you'll have different opinions, and and you can only um, you can only learn and improve your game from taking bits from each people. So definitely. Lots of players have spoken about how they enjoy working under Matt. What's it like from from your perspective? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I mean, um, I've known Matty for a long time, and and uh, just. If you keep playing games and I'm keeping progressing in my career, then I can only do better. So yeah. And yourself, you've now played well over 100 games for the club. Do you feel you're still improving? There's more to come. Yeah, there's, I think there's definitely more to come. Um, I mean, I've played centre half, I have played midfield. Um, I don't know. I just want to play games and and hopefully be successful with a good club. So that's all that matters to me. It's probably a, it's probably quite easy. To forget that you came through as a central defender. Yeah. Do you prefer playing as a central midfielder? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do prefer it now. I sort of um, I'm used to it now, and it's my position. I think I'm classed as a midfielder now, so yeah. And so you've lost just once at home this season, and we've often looked really, really strong. Is there? A, it must be really pleasing to have that confidence when you go to St James Park. Yeah, I think we've had that here for a while now. It's sort of the last couple of seasons. We've really it's something we've pushed on. And Matty's been part of that from before he was manager. He really sort of tried to nail the home form. I mean, it's, it's a big part of, 
of Exeter, I mean, we have to do a lot of travelling as a club. I mean, Grimsby Saturday, we had to, we was on the bus for eight hours, I think it was in the end, and if other teams have to do that as well. So, I mean, the home form is key, and it's I think it's what you base the, the league results on in the end. Mm -hmm.